Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency Secretary General of ITU, distinguished delegates. Firstly, I'd like to express our gratitude to the government and the people of the Romania for the warm hospitality extended to us since we landed in Bucharest for this conference. I'm honored to address this conference on behalf of the government of Timor Leste to affirm our aspiration for a better digital future for everyone. Distinguished delegates, Timor Leste joined the ITU just 12 years ago in 2010 at the PP in Guadalajara, Mexico. In this short period of time, we have learned that for Timor Leste to be successful in this new country, digital connectivity, in more than just a enabler, it is more than requisite for our country to participate meaningfully in the new economy. Hence, we have embraced the view that building the same digital infrastructure for Timor Leste is a necessary precondition for raising the living standard for our people. In the same spirit of ITU's com commitment for connect and unite, I'm glad to inform you that Timor Leste has made some progress in building the telecommunication networks and service to connect the 1.3 million people in our country one to another and to connect them to the world. Most, most especially, the aggregate international bandwidth for Timor Leste has grown from just 150 megabit per second in 2010, over 30 gigabit per second this year. This number will rise further more rapidly to multiple hundreds of gigabits per second in early 2024. Once we complete the construction of our first international chambering cable system, I'm also pleased to inform you that we have had a functioning market vibrating connected by three international mobile service provides since 2012. The mobile network coverage in Timor Leste has exceeded 19% of our population areas since 2015. Indeed, our youth are already on social media platform for Instagram to TikTok using 4G that the services are accessible in all municipality towns across the country. Distinguished delegates, for each of those modest achievements I mentioned, it is achieved with, by technical assistance meaningfully and generously extended to us by ITU and several member states in particular. I'd like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the Secretary General of ITU, His Excellency Mr. Howlin Joe, to the past and current directors of the Telecommunication Development Bureau, and to the ITU Regional Office in Bangkok and its area office in Jakarta. Likewise, I'd like to thank the administration of Australia, Japan, Republic of Korea, Indonesia, and Portugal, along with other distinguished members of the ASEAN and the CPLP communities. Distinguished delegates, looking forward, we aspire of the digitally connected economy where all countries can work collaboratively to achieve progress in their journey of development. In Timor Leste, we will continue to redouble our efforts to extend digital infrastructure to connect those who are not yet connected, most especially the students and faculty members in our school and universities, to raise the digital literacy of our population and to strengthen our capacity to manage and reduce cybersecurity risk. Distinguished delegates, as we prepare ourselves to increasingly integrate our economy and people to the connected digital world of our time, we have high hopes that the conference will lift up the true meaning of those two words we have heard repeatedly here in this conference, namely to connect and unite it. The more less they trust that we can count on the wisdom and collegially of the ITU that has been nurtured by its membership over the past 157 years to ensure that 
we will build a better digital future that will connect and unite us all, large and small. I thank you.